Lewis, guess what? Tell me. You are living the American dream. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And you too. Thanks. Oh. A lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. SCP right here. SCP. Sam Chung Plus. <laughs> I'm here with Cassini Dream, and he has a new deck for you guys. What deck is this? Evil Eye. And what does this deck do? Uh, it's a control deck. And how do you control the board? Uh, by trading like one for one cards. But your main monster is Sergio. Uh, he basically has an effect when he's equipped with the equip card that he can like destroy any special summon monster as a point of control. So this is like a equip deck? Uh, that's not an equip deck, but it revolves around an equip card. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna explain the the core cards first okay. before I go into the regular cards because it's a brand new deck. Okay. Uh, we have Sergio, Watcher of the Evil Eye. Pretty much Sergio's effect is that he's he's a searcher. He can search whatever you need. So he can search any spell or trap or a monster. So he's he's almost a combo starter, but there's another way to start your combo as well. Oh, also he has another effect. Sorry. What's the point? When the equip card is equipped to him, he can target a uh, monster as a point of control that was supposed to summon and destroy it. And he can also do that during the point stone and your turn. Okay. But he has a maintenance cost of during each standby phase, if you've activated the, the effect of pop the previous yeah. turn, you must pop one of your cards. You gonna pop yourself? Uh you can you can pop any card you control. Okay. But we play some cards to mitigate that to help go plus a little bit. Okay, nice. The yes. so one Medusa. She's Medusa. a rec she's a recursion of the deck. Mm -hmm. Uh, we play one because mid game, uh, her effect is that when she's normal summon, she can add back an evil eye card from your grip right to your hand. Okay. So sometimes that actually comes up, like you need to add back one of the spells or traps to use them again. So that's not the worst. And her other effect is that if there's an evil eye uh, equip card equipped to her, yeah. she can target um, a card, I believe, a card? in the opponent's graveyard and banish it. No, monster. Mm -hmm. So it's really good in the Salaman Great matchup sometimes. Okay. And also, her she has a maintenance cost as well. Wow. That in the standby phase, if you've activated this effect the previous turn or that turn, you have to banish a card from your graveyard. Okay. But it could be any card, so it could be something dead like a terraforming or whatever. Or anything. Yeah. Not, not, doesn't have to be like an evil eye. No. no okay, yeah. great. So that's the one good thing about it. These are, these are the monster lineups for the evil eye cards. That's it? Yeah. Is just for the, four cards? Uh, we play more cards, but this is just the evil eye engine we're talking okay. about at the moment. Uh, we have the field spell. Evil eye uh, domain. Domain. Uh, this card searches any monster. So ideally, you'd want to open up this card. Uh, search this guy, and this guy will search the equip card. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it has two other effects that are semi-relevant. Uh, if your opponent attacks an evil eye monster, you, you control. Uh, you can, they take the same amount of battle damage you will take. Oh, really? Yeah, so let's say your monster is 16 and it has the equip card equipped to it. Yeah. And their monster is 22, you would uh -huh. take 600, and they would also take 600. What? Yeah. And also, its, it's third effect is that if it's destroyed, you can add back an evil eye monster from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. So, pretty much if you have this and this, mm -hmm. and it's mid game, you can destroy this, and yep. it's effective trigger to add back one of the evil eye monsters from your hand. Oh wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. And now these are the evil eye of Selene. So these are the equip cards. Yeah, you only play two because um, it's not the best card to open, okay. so I just prefer that too. And you play many power cards in the deck, such as Duality and Desires. Uh -huh. Not Desires, sorry. Uh, extravagance? Extravagance, yeah. yeah the extravagance. Ones? Yep. Yeah. So you play those cards, so you don't want to see too much. So what does it do? Uh, you equip it to an Evil Eye monster, uh -huh. and pretty much this card is what gives them their second abilities. Okay. And also, its effect is that when an Evil Eye that's equipped to it activates its effect yeah. or you activate an evil eye spell or trap uh -huh. this monster gains that monster equipped to it gains 500 attack points okay and even if this card is destroyed mm -hmm. that monster keeps that attack okay and also its other effect is that if you have an evil eye uh, spell or trap to live in your graveyard yes. you can banish that trap and set this card again oh. by paying a thousand life points okay yeah. And also, its other effect is that the monster it's equipped to yeah. cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect, and also cannot be targeted. Wow. Yeah. So, so it's like finer boost plus can't destroy. It towers, yeah, after a while. It's amazing, okay. Yeah, it's really good. And then the tech cards. Uh, this card works like an MST. Okay. You, you target a uh, spell or trap your opponent controls. Yeah. If you control Evil Eye Monster, you destroy it. And if this card is on the field, when you activate this, this one, yeah, okay. you can banish that card. Oh! You can okay. banish spell or trap. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Uh, this card negates the activation of a spell or trap. And if you control the Evil Eye Slain when it's activated, yeah. you can, uh, you can, this card cannot be negated. 
Oh, so you can't respond to it. No, you can't judge it. No. So it's like a superpower almost. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Uh, I think I think there's the cards that negate effects. The counter traps that negate effects can, but the cards that negate activation can. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if there's any, but if you know what I mean, yep. there is to be. Yeah. Uh, this guy, this is compulse on crack. The heck does this card go? <coughs> Evil Eye defeat. Yeah. Uh, for these, you have to control an evil eye monster to use, by the way. Okay. You have to you, you have to have an evil eye monster. Oh, so both the traps need an evil eye first yeah. before you even, even this one. Have even that one? Yeah, even this one. Okay. Even the spell, even the quick play too, right? Yeah, even the quick play, yeah. Oh. Uh, this one is you can bounce a monster your opponent okay. controls. Yeah. And if you control the quick card, you can bounce two. Bounce two cards. Bounce two wow, cards. Really good. Yeah, that's really good. These are like sound maker cards. You need like a sound maker. Like, you know, this, this is like you need an evil eye. Yeah, like, yeah, but the evil eye is your opponent's real. It's, it's yeah. less consistent. <laughs> and this uh, awakening, this card. Uh, so usually, like, this card specials an evil eye from your hand or graveyard. Yes. And if you control the equip card, you can huh? special one from your deck instead. Wow. Okay. But the problem with it is that these monsters, they only get their effects yeah. if they're normal summon. Only normal summon? Not yeah. Special? Yeah. Aww. But the reason why you play this is like, against some of the better players, yeah. uh, they would, like, let's see if they can sell them great. They would know to roar this card's activation. Oh, so when yeah. they roar this card's activation, now you don't have it no more, you just wasted your normal summon. So this card, if you do draw it, yeah. lets you bring him back. Okay. So you might not get the effect, but at least you get him you get to trigger there. all of these. Yep. Yeah. So that's why I play because it actually does come up sometimes. Okay, just in case. Yeah. Okay, insurance. Insurance, exactly. Better buy insurance <laughs> from this guy here. Hi. Hi, Lewis. So yeah, this is the this is the Evil Eye Engine card. Yep. And then I was going to the secondary cards in the deck that we play. Uh, hand traps. Right? Yeah. Yep. Hand traps. We play this guy. Fantastic. Uh, this guy makes any deck good. Triple Ash. Uh -huh. uh, triple Valor. Wow. Okay. And one DD Crow. <laughs> one DD Crow. Yeah. One DD Crow. Uh, this could be anything. Uh, you could play the third duality, which I'm going to show you guys later over this. But yeah. I don't like third duality in any of my decks because I, I, feel like I just draw. Yeah, I just draw it too much. Yeah, That's me though. Okay. And also to round up the monsters, we play two artifacts. Morale oh. tech inside. So the reason why like this engine goes so well with this is because yeah. if you hard draw these, uh -huh. you can you can set it. And then on the standby of your opponent's turn, on the third turn, you can activate his effect to pop a card you control because yeah. he uses other effects, and you can pop the side of morale like and summon them. Oh, okay, that makes sense yeah. now. So the popping works so, out pretty Yeah. Anyways. So let's say uh, you're going second, and yeah. you hard draw one of the artifacts. Yeah. You, you can normal summon, uh -huh. uh, get the equip card, use his effect, pop an opponent's monster, yeah. and then set this, and then you pass. Yeah. And then your opponent's draw phase, you can activate this effect again uh -huh. to pop something else, uh, and then on the standby, you only have to pay for one pop. Yep. Because you technically you activate this effect before the standby. Okay. So you're paying for both on the standby phase. That's amazing. Yeah. So you can pop this and get that. So you got the price of two pops for one, wow. and you got a side pop. Two for one. Two I like that. One. Yeah. Good value. I like the way you think of here. Huh? Yeah. Dream. Yeah. You wanna like when you're playing decks like these, like they might not be the greatest. Yeah. But if you just maximize on every card you have, uh -huh. you can go really far with your decks. Okay. Just try to maximize on everything you can. Just get as much value. You can go far with any deck you play, especially in a format like this. Man, you're so aspiring. You just are, play what you like, man. You are the dream of everyone. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Okay, next. Three pot. Oh, the strategies. Yeah, you. Uh, is this required? Like, yeah. Um. You don't have to play cards like these. Like you could play desires as well. Yeah. Like it's it's fine. We but, don't have to but you don't use extra deck in this. Oh, you don't? No, you do not use extra deck. Like uh, I'll get to extra deck later. But as as like a, as a whole, you don't really use your extra deck. This deck plays like sub terrors. Uh -huh. So this card is basically pot of greed, literally. Okay. You draw two cards. It's literally just draw two cards. And extra deck was sponsored by this guy. Yes. Rich guy Lewis. Wait till uh, you see his cards. Wait, no. wait. <laughs> Got uh, two duality. Wow, so shiny. Yeah, duality is really good in this deck. So you can dig in, right? Like a zerk. Yeah, because you're not you're specialing on your opponent's turn. Yeah. So in your turn, you can afford to play this card because you're gonna resolve Phantasm on their turn. You're gonna resolve the Artifact Engine on their uh -huh. turn. So uh, this card is good in this deck now. So what you're trying to do is go Kobayashi and dig in. Dig in. No, 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 no. <laughs> 
Uh, two tower formings. Okay. Castle Shiny! Yeah, I just search those. Okay. Do you a card? Uh, three Call by the Grave. Call by the Grave! Yeah, like, this card's... You, 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 need, you need these cards to resolve. Yeah. You know, uh, a lot of people, awesome, right? Yeah, a lot of people are also not playing in permanence this format as well. Yeah. Because of cards like Phantasmi and whatnot, mm -hmm. so... This card is even better now. It works out for you? Yeah, it works out. And this is all for the spell lineup. Okay. And for the traps, there can only be one. Ooh, this is a mean floodgate. Yeah, because because like the more the clunkiest your board is gonna get is this guy, this guy, and one of these guys. That's the most clunkiest. Yeah, this is that's it. Has board presence. Yeah, and like <laughs> like they're all different types. So yeah, this card doesn't hurt you, and this card is just so good uh -huh. because you can focus on not breaking a Simon Great board yeah. going second. Uh -huh. I'm going second. I open this and this. I don't have to worry now about breaking their board because I could literally just set this, yep. bait the roar if they have it, uh -huh. pass, uh, standby sanctum. They would yep. probably roar it if you can't bait it, uh -huh. and then you're free to flip this. And there would be one. Yeah. Only and one. also, when you have this equipped to this, yeah. you also do have a pop. So like th this hair is just so strong. It's too good. Yeah, this is too good. So good. You usually have to wait a turn to get the proxy. Uh huh. So it works out. Okay. It's really good. And then three sanctum. Of course. Sanctum is free. This is amazing. Uh, changes you could make into that because uh, you could take out the crow for the third duality. You yeah. could even play a second scythe if you want because, uh -huh. like I said, it's not bad drawing these cards. It's not the worst. Nope. You need them. Yeah, you need them. Yeah. You need the value. So yeah, it's not it's not the worst to draw these cards. Okay. And you recommend playing forty cards, right? Uh, I recommend playing forty cards. Yeah, yeah, you could play forty-one. Uh, yeah, you play double duality. This you could play forty-one if you want to. It's not the yeah. worst, but uh, if you can keep it to forty, I keep it to forty. You just need to draw the engine card. Yeah, you draw the engine, engine card and you go. That's part. Yeah, if you, don't, <laughs> if you don't get this or this or tower for me, you lose. You don't want that to happen. Yeah, but like I said, this card really increases your chances of fixing your hands too. Like, of course, this is your so draw you card. Get, yeah, this draw power, ridiculous. and your draw power, and your add power. Yeah, and then it's more add power. Uh, this deck, though, it, uh, it's not viable at the moment. Yeah. So, uh, Sky Strikers is just... Sky Strikers really, really shits on this deck. Good. Yeah, it's just too good at the moment, so... If, are, they, are they getting more support in, in OCG land? Um, or there's here? a rumor going on that the next main set after this one... Yeah. I forgot what it was called. Will they exclusive or coming from OCG? It's not dual power, right? No, uh, no. Um, the next main set is Dane. Yeah. No, uh, Neostorm is Dane, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, the main set after ne uh, Dark Neostorm yeah. is rumored to have more witchcraft and evil like, Wow, yeah. okay. Nice. So maybe. Excited for that. Yeah, and the deck's not expensive unless you're running like these cards. You need a couple boxes. How many boxes do you buy to get that? For me? Yeah. Uh, I bought the core off of uh, my friend. Aw, so yeah. nice. Okay, extra deck time, very important. Yeah, you're going to plus. Uh, some side tech options you could do is yeah. Dark Lock. You could, you could actually play Mass Change 2 in this deck. Yes. Since they're all darks. Uh -huh. And you could Max Change 2, I believe, uh, Thanos Dragon. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's dark, it's dark, it's, it's dark. dark. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. So you could actually play Mass Change 2 as a viable card in this deck. Okay. You could Mass Change 2 the, the Fiend guy. Uh, there's the, like, this is just tech options you have. Would you play the Shadow Mist? No, no, I would have played Shadow. No. This deck is very heavy. This deck relies on the normal. Normal summon. Summon, you have to. Yeah, you okay. have to. But like I said, like if you want to like try tech uh, tech things out, you could play Mass Change too. Check it out. This card is very strong in this format. Uh -huh. Um, I would also max out on this. Uh, you could side in Will of Fire and How Super Poly. Oh crap! Okay. Yeah, you could side in Will of Fire. And Super Poly. A lot of a lot of decks are doing that. Even Sky Strikers now are siding in. Two to three will of fire. Yeah. Like it's not it's not the worst because you just get rid of their board uh -huh. and you have literally like a four K beat stick. Yeah, four K beat stick. Yeah, it's very strong. So you could do that, and also you don't rely on the extra link zone, so nope. it doesn't matter to you. Okay. Uh, tech, uh, unicorn phoenix. Sorry, utility cards. Utility cards. Get rid of this crappy stuff. Well, you play you play this at three, of course. Three. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Three dark light. If you're doing the mass change two. Uh -huh. And you know we have have some nice cards here. Oh wow! Sponsored by Lewis. There's some nice cards. What the heck? There's some oh, nice man. cards to banish off of you know. Our extravagance. You got Black Rose in Stardust. Whoa! First that. Lewis, you are you are like Kaiba. Except you don't have the long hair and the. No long hair. I used to have long hair. Oh this really? This is uh this is my pride over here. Wow. I got more, but this is this is this is my pride right here, front page. How did you get all these? Uh, I work very hard for these cards. I work a lot of hours, a lot of overtime. Uh, I, I have a decent job, so I'm very proud of what I've been able to accomplish with, you know, the money I make. Lewis, guess what? Tell me. You are living the American dream! That's it! Yeah! Yeah!
And you too. Thanks. Oh. A lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. SCP right here. SCP. Sam Chung Plus. Joseph Chang in the streets. Sam, Sam Chung, Chung in the sheets. Bo, show me combo. Start with it. Combo time. Combo time. You would activate this. Yep. Search this. Search your girl. Okay, normal yeah. summon it. Normal summon effect. Put the monster down. Normal summon? And then add the... The quick card? No. Oh. That's a... <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's a good combo, honey. And you still have four other cards in hand. You still have four other cards in your hand. Oh, yeah, okay. So Which could be part of duality, extravagance. You know what it feels like right now? With this, this kind of combo you did? So. I feel like you did a trick star combo. It's exactly what it is. <laughs> exactly what it is. Wait, is, it, is this a hard once per turn? Or is yeah, it like, hard, 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 hard. Oh. a hard one? Yeah, it's a hard one. Could only fix those cards after so like. This is a weaker trick star. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> but like more fun games and stuff. More yeah, yeah. dangerous. Okay. So it's okay. It, it's it, like I said, like after the balance, you can still play now, it's still viable. Yeah. If you're playing against strikers, you know, the game one doesn't go so well, you can send in some anti spells, put your order, uh -huh. pancreatops. Point twist. There's like many cards you can side in to like try to combat that matchup. Okay. But uh, as you can tell from the main deck, this deck was mostly made to play against Salmon Great. Yes. Because you know cards like Sanctum aren't the best against Sky Strikers. Nope. But Horrible. If Please. you were, if you were to take cards out, uh, if you were to take out Sanctum, then you'd be crippling like what the deck can do good yeah, with yeah, just yeah. pop your own cards. The utility part. Yeah. So uh, like I said, if, uh, I recommend you pick up the deck now. Just wait till the balance. Yep. And you never know. Decks of these always get more support. Of course. And it always takes one card to break a deck. Like Look at Spirals. Helix! Helix. <laughs> it just takes one card to break a deck. That's it. So you never know. Never know? Never know. Ain't that prey. Also, you know, shout out to Ranks. Follow us on Facebook. Ranks! Create new leagues. Challenge your friends! Like YouTube! Woo! Please follow, okay, follow also us on angry. Subscribe to YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. Oh, thank you. Follow. It's so nice to meet. Well, thank you for the deck. Thank cool. you for our inspiration. Thank you. Thank you for your massive amount of money cards. I try. And thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>